So, um, Big came to me in a dream last night. Meaning you had a dream about Big? And just like that, HBO Max's Sex and the City revival series wraps up the big love story without Chris Knopf, as Carrie reconnects with Samantha. What's wonderful is that we have a writer and actors who love that character, who love telling stories and being in situations and environments with Samantha. Um, and we're really lucky we have those memories and that experience. Yeah. The season one finale kicks off with Carrie's third date with Peter, which ends with a sweet but sort of cringy first kiss. I'd like to kiss you. Would that be okay? And all that really just has her thinking about Big, whose ashes are still stored in her closet. Of course, the series launched with an unexpected bombshell. And just like that, Big died. And fans aren't too happy about it. I love that people are upset. It means they care. I think it was very bold. We're not going to be treading water. We're actually going to be sailing into completely unchartered waters. And shortly after that controversial episode aired, the show decided to remove additional footage of Chris Noth's character from the finale after several women came forward accusing the 67-year-old actor of sexual assault. We were um, very lucky that those changes were able to be made. We just wanted people to not be distracted. So while Big comes to carry in a dream to reveal where he wants his ashes dispersed, fans never actually see or hear him. So um, Big came to me in a dream last night. I know where he wants to be. Paris, our bridge. Of course, fans of the original show will recall that in the final episode of the series, Big found Carrie in Paris, they kissed on a bridge, and seemingly lived happily ever after. Carrie, you're the one. Kiss me, you big crybaby. So that's exactly where Carrie goes to say her final goodbye to Big. And since Carrie's in Paris just a hop, skip, and a train ride away from London, she reaches out to her estranged pal Samantha to meet up for a cocktail, and get this, Sam agrees. It's shocking, it's shocking. This all comes after Kim Cattrall, who played Samantha in the original series, made it clear she will not return to the franchise. It's a topic E.T. asked the actress about in 2014, four years after the release of Sex and the City 2. The most important thing is always, do we have something left to say? How do I want to spend the time? Do I want to spend it doing something that I've explored to the fullest? Do I want to come back and revisit it? I think it's about the story. If there's something more to say, yes, financially it would be fantastic for all of us. Uh, but I'm really about content and uh, what is it, what is it, where is it going to take me? So the show forged ahead without her, leaving the door open for a possible return. We did everything we could to honor Samantha, who we love, the character, and we know the fans love. No one could be another Samantha. I personally feel very pleased with how we've handled it. Yeah. Um, I think Michael Patrick uh, cares deeply about handling it with respect, and I feel that, that we have. So could Samantha come back if the show gets picked up for a season two? When E.T. spoke to Cynthia Nixon, she said fans shouldn't hold their breath. I think that Kim has made it really clear that she's done and we've heard her and sometimes people say, you know, will, who will be the new Samantha? We would never try to replace Samantha. 